All right, we got some hot 3D printing news here for you. I want to get out real quick. I'm headed off for the weekend, so we'll be back next week. But I wanted to get this to you before I left. Let's talk about it. Let's jump through all of it real quick. So first of all, I was contacted by uh, Anycubic about a couple things. First of all, the S1 Max. They're talking about sending it to me. Probably be a January thing. We don't. Who knows if it'll comes to fruition. There's always this talk about, we're gonna do this, this, and then people flake. That's just the YouTube kind of thing. But what isn't flaking is this. This is their, let, let's be blunt, it is a Bamboo Lab A1 clone. I mean, down to the paint job and the position of the screen, the whole whole feel of the thing is very A1. Uh, but you know what? It's not necessarily a bad thing, all right? Uh, it looks like a great little bed slinger. Uh, it's got the spools up top. You don't really need to have an AMS. It's all handled in the head. Apparently, they've got this new tech where it cuts it even closer to the uh, to the head of the or to the nozzle. So there's even less waste. They manage all that. It's faster, less waste, better in every regard, other than the fact that it doesn't take advantage of the whole bamboo ecosystem, which is kind of the reason you buy that. But hey, if you want to go with any cubic, I'm sure they're going to beat bamboo on price. We don't have a price on it just yet. They did want me to tell you that it's coming out soon and it's gonna be fabulous and all that kind of stuff. It's not paid sponsorship. They just, they send emails like this out to people that they know that do this kind of stuff. Uh, so anyway, you make the call on that. I will put a link to everything we talk about down below so you can check into it and see if it's what what is gonna work for you. All right, next up is uh, is from uh, Hallett, uh, or the Hallett X1. This is from Creality. Now, I got to tell you, I've been wondering with all the everything that's been going on this year, with all the new releases from Prusa and from Snapmaker and from Bamboo, I'm like, where's Creality? And Creality's hot new releases are not exactly exciting. Now, Creality did send uh, offer to send this to me. They they said they'd like to send it to me, no strings attached. Uh, just we want to send it over and I can do a review on it. The only problem with that is I don't play with resin. That is other people. You go talk to those people who like to play with resin. Not my thing. Uh, so I'm not the resin guy. I understand the whole technology at, at a very, you know, with the geek nerd level in me, you know, I have to tear it apart and f figure out how it works. But that said, I'm not going to play around with the nasty resin stuff. So uh, anyway, new resin printer coming out, the Hallet X1. Uh, 3D printer, $469. I hear good things about it, but again, you should probably talk to somebody who's a resin guy when it comes to that sort of thing. Uh, next up, let's talk about FlashForge. Now this is really, if you hadn't seen this already, and I'm sure most of you did, they said the no to weaponized 3D printing. They basically said that uh, if you try to 3D print uh, any kind of uh, weapon, and who knows what they classify as weapon, that they would turn you into authorities. Kid you not, that they would contact the government and the people would come for you. Uh, needless to say, the feedback that they got from that was severe. Now they've since backpedaled it, but I'm sorry, but if you read the wording on this, the person who wrote this is pretty hardcore in their beliefs that you don't have the right to do any of this stuff. Now I understand they're not based in the US and that they have markets in Europe and other kind of places. That's great, but you should have said, you know, except for the US market or something like that, because in the US we have the right, depending on the state you're in, whether they want to take away those civil rights, doesn't matter, we're not trying to get into the politics. The point is that even if you don't care about 2A stuff, you should care about big brother Kind of, well, I mean, people said, well, Bamboo, when they do this, that means they're going to do blah. And Bamboo never did that. Flashforge did. They're like, oh, that's a great idea. We should totally do that. We should totally admit that we're eavesdropping on their stuff and we're going to turn them in. Something to worry about? What if you're printing something that looks a little bit too much like something from the Marvel Universe? You're, you guys doing all that kind of, you know, the for the cons and whatnot. Oh, sorry, that's copyright IP infringement. Yeah, and they're gonna turn you in. How do you know? Because they're clearly willing to watch you, which means I can't recommend them because I, I can't can't trust the company. Uh, they're already, you know, on their last leg here as, as it were as a company themselves. So who knows if they're gonna be around in the long haul. And then on top of it, lots of people are ditching them, which means you're not gonna get the community support if you buy into the Flash Forge ecosystem sucks all right now full disclosure they did offer they've offered now twice to send me a 3d printer and i gave them a i said no the first time politely and after this i said uh you can 
you know what? Uh, I was, I was, I was hot. Okay. I tried to be polite. I tried to be professional, but I was hot. I'm like, I don't want anything to do with you folks until some heads roll over there. And you, and you basically oust some people who, who wrote this and who feel that they should be able to take their, I mean, if it's a rogue agent within the company, I, I want to see them on the street. If it wasn't a rogue age, agent within the company, it's actually the company's way of doing things, then you're just going to do it silently and we don't want to have anything to do with you. So you're not going to see any flash forward stuff on my channel uh, for this foreseeable future. And I'm sorry about that because they have a great price point and a okay machine. I will say the reason I said no the first time is there's better machines for the money out there. Okay. Uh, one I don't have on here is... Uh, is Elegoo. Now, Elegoo reached out to me and said, hey, we'd like to send you our uh, our new multicolor 3D printer, but we want you to sign an NDA. Now, I will sign an NDA for some things, uh, but I'm like, this is, I'm not just going to randomly sign an NDA. I mean, it honestly, guys, the tech isn't that, isn't that techy for something like this. It's basically a flash forge at this point. Uh, it's using the same kind of system and everything else. I, I told them I'm, I'm, if they want to send it to me to review it, which and and everything else, great. You know that's the way. Like Bamboo sent me stuff. The last time Elegu sent me stuff, it was like that. Uh, TD when they sent me stuff, any cubic when they sent me stuff for, no one's ever asked for an NDA. There's nothing new, super cool tech wise that justifies an NDA. So I'm I'm not. And when you sign an NDA, you may not realize this. I've done this a lot in my business. Uh, when you sign the NDA, you're taking on a fiscal risk to yourself. Uh, and as such, I'm not going to do that just to get a free 3D printer that is a quality below what I'm used to. So not going to happen. All right, next, let's talk about Bamboo Lab. Now, all we got to really talk about here is, uh, you know, some of their stuff is still at, back ordered, uh, currently out of stock, but it's going to be shipping soon. And Bamboo, I will say this, does ship Everything I've gotten from Bamboo that I've ordered that said it was back ordered shipped way early. All right. Can't, no guarantee, but I just, that was my experience. All right. The, I want to talk about the P1S in particular because A, I've got nine of them. I'm a big fan of them. Big fan. Uh, currently $400 without the AMS, $550 with the, with the regular AMS, $639 with the AMS2 Pro. A lot of people don't realize that they also have a, a sale going on right now with the hardened steel upgrade. So you can, for $30.58, you can make this capable of running, you know, all those other kind of filaments, the abrasive stuff you can't run in anything else. But you're like, oh, that'd be great. I'd have an enclosed chamber. I'd have hardened steel, uh, you know, accoutrements. I, but if only I had a heated chamber. I'm sorry, did you ask for a heated chamber? Because it looks like, uh, BQ, big, big Q, I don't know how they pronounce that. They, they can figure that out. B-I-Q-U. You know, the guys who make all the accessories for in the Panda line, because pandas love bamboo. Uh, they've come out with a active chamber heating element for the P-Series and the X1C series. It's called the, <laughs> it's called the Panda Breath. I can't make that stuff up. Oh, I can't imagine that spells good, but... Think about it. If you, I mean, I could get into a P1 for $400. I could add 30 bucks will get me the, uh, the, the, the hardened steel. So at 430, I can, uh, I, I've got that, uh, that system, but the Panda Breath, let me see if I can pull it up here. The Panda Breath, oh, come on. I hope this is a, a reasonable price. $108. Not terrible. Not terrible pricing. Now, I know people who've built their own kind of stuff and whatnot, but they do, B, B, BQ, BQ, I don't know. Uh, they do a really good job of making some really nicely integrated uh, solutions. Uh, I think it's probably, if you're looking for that kind of stuff, you're wanting to do ASA and all the other kind of fun filaments and whatnot, I I think that'd be a great little machine to build up. Uh, now, if they had something like that for the old, uh, for the Centauri Carbon, can you imagine that? That would be a great system there. Uh, coming in, it was that thing 265 now for the Centauri Carbon. I think it's still on sale. Let me pull it up. No, it looks like the price jumped to 279. It was down to 265 at one point, so it's now up to 280. Uh, maybe if you sign up, you can get like 10% off or something. I don't know. I'm just guessing. There's websites that do that all the time, uh, and I believe there's 30 dollars shipping. So the question is, at that price, do you just say skip the Centauri and go to the bamboo? Because then I have the option of the AMS and the whole nine yards and all that upgrade path. 
tempting one. Let me know what you would do down below. Uh, and then uh, last one is Snapmaker. Snapmaker just secured Series B financing, which is a big deal. If, if when you're growing a company, you know you get the angel investing, which gets you started. And actually, first there's friends and family. Then you usually reach out to angels who get you going to that next level. Then you do a Series A and a Series B. And then usually after that is where you'd see like, uh, you know, they might do several rounds of it, but where you'd see a company going public or something like that. This is a big deal. Uh, a lot of big money companies in Asia have invested in this and rightly so. It looks like it's going to be a great setup. Uh, they've got a, a solid product at a, at a good price point and from all accounts for what it costs for a tool changer, they're just killing it. Anyway, that's all the quick news here we got for you today. Uh, headed out on, on a road trip uh, with the missus and going to go see the sun wrestle down in Wyoming. I hope you all enjoy the holiday season. Take care. Uh, and if you like what we do here, go ahead and chomp the old like button, smash that subscribe, ring the bell on the way out. You all take care. God bless. And as always, shine on.